Aveiro is a city and a municipality in Portugal. In 2021, the population was 80,880, in an area of 197. 58 square kilometers, it is the second most populous city in the central region of Portugal. Along with the neighboring city of Ilavo, Aveiro is part of an urban agglomeration that includes 120,000 inhabitants, making it one of the most important populated regions by density in the north region. And primary center of the intermunicipal community of Aveiro and Baixu Voca. Administratively, the president of the municipal government is José Ribau Esteves, elected by coalition between the Social Democratic Party and the Democratic Social Center, who governs the ten civil parishes. The presence of human settlement in the territory of Aveiro extends to the period associated with the Great Dilmans of prehistory, which exist in most of the region. The Latinized toponym Avrius derived from the Celtic word Aber. For a long period Aveiro was an important economic link in the production of salt and commercial shipping. It was a center of salt exploration by the Romans and trade center through the Middle Ages, registered since 26 January 959. During this testament, Mumadona Diash also highlighted the ancient name for Averu, this time referring to the monastery's lands in Alaurio at Salinas, literally, a gathering place or preserve of birds and of great salt. From 11th century onwards, Averu became popular with Portuguese royalty. Infanta de Joana, daughter of King Afonso V later, King Joao I, on the advice of his son Pedro, who was the donatary of Averu, requested the construction of fortification walls. King D. Duarte conceded in 1435 the privilege of providing an annual duty-free fair, later referred to as the Fera de Marsu, today still an annual tradition. The Princess Street. Joanna, daughter of Afonso V. lived in Aveiro, entering the Convent of Jesus, and lived there until her death on May 12, 1490. During her life her presence brought attention to the town, and favored it with an elevated level of development for the time. The first charter was conceded by Manuel I of Portugal on August 4, 1515, as indicated in the Livro de Lideras Novas de Forres de Estremadura. Its geographic position along the Aveiro River had always helped it to subsist and grow, supported by salt market, fishing and maritime commercial development. By the beginning of the 15th century, there already existed a great wall around the historical center, intonating the significance of the community and growth of the population. This included the founding of many religious institutions and their supports, which assisted during the 17th and 18th century crises associated with silt in the waterway. In the winter of 1575, a terrible storm closed the entrance to its port, ending a thriving trade in metals and tiles, and creating a reef barrier at the Atlantic Ocean. The walls were subsequently demolished and used to create the docks around the new sandbar. A depiction of the execution of Duke José Mascarenhas of Averu between the 16th and 17th centuries, the river's instability at the mouth resulted in the closure of the canal. Impeding the use of the port of Averu, and creating stagnation in the waters of the lagoon. This blow to the economy created a social and economic crisis, and resulted in the decrease in the population and emigration. It was at this time that the Church of the Misericordia was constructed, during the Philippine Dynastic Union. José Estevao, parliamentary and 19th century hero in 1759, King José I elevated the town to the status of city, a few months after condemning the Duke of Averu, José Mascarenhas, to death. As a result, Averu became known as Nova Braganza, it was later abandoned much later, and returned to Averu. In 1774, by request of King José, Pope Clement XIV instituted the Diocese of Averu. In the 19th century, the Averants were active during the Liberal Wars, and it was José Estevão Coelho de Magalhães, a parliamentary member who was determinant in resolving the problem of access along the Ria. He also helped with the development of transport, especially the railway line between Lisbon and Porto. It was the opening of the artificial canals, completed in 1808, that allowed Averu to expand economically, marking the beginning in the town's growth. The municipality was elevated to the status of town, centered on its principal church, consecrated to the Archangel Michael, today the location of the Praça da República. Bridge over canal in Averu located on the shore of the Atlantic Ocean, Averu is an industrial city with an important seaport. The seat of the municipality is the city of Averu, comprising the five urban parishes with about 73,003 inhabitants. The city of Averu is also the capital of the district of Averu, and the largest city in the Baixu Voga Intermunicipal Community subregion. Averu is known as the Portuguese Venice, due to its system of canals and boats similar to the Italian city of Venice. 
Averu has a warm summer Mediterranean climate influenced by its proximity to the Atlantic Ocean. The maritime influence causes a narrow temperature range resulting in summers averaging around 24 degrees Celsius in daytime temperatures, considerably lower than inland areas on the same parallel on the Iberian Peninsula. As typical of Mediterranean climates, summers are dry and winters are wet. A coastal feature is that frosts are rare and never severe. The hottest temperature recorded was 39.3 degrees Celsius. Temperatures above 32 degrees Celsius are extremely occasional, and averages only a couple of times per annum. The civil parishes of the municipality of Averro administratively, the municipality is divided into 10 civil parishes, São Jacinto is located on an eponymous peninsula, between the Atlantic Ocean and Rio de Averro. Averro had 61,430 eligible voters in 2006. Averu's sister cities are, Averu was known for many years for its production of salt and for the Maliso seagrass harvest, which was used as fertilizer before the development of chemicals for that purpose. The boats once used for harvesting now carry tourists on the canals. Salt production has also decreased dramatically with only a few salt ponds still remaining. The region is now known for the preponderance of ceramics industries, a reflection of the region's advancements, resulting in a long productive tradition since the late Roman, early medieval period. Software development is important too, both at the R&D Center for a large telecom company and at the University of Averro which is attended by 15,000 students on undergraduate and postgraduate programs. UA works with companies in national and European R&D projects. The city of Averro has several shopping centers and malls, Averro's Shopping Center, Averro's Retail Park and the Oita Shopping Center. This city has many traditional commerce stores. The most central one being Forum Averu with closed stores, restaurants own, a book shop and a cinema. The town's unemployment rate in 2015 was 12.5%. The university is a major employer. The central area with its Art Nouveau buildings and boat rides on Barcos Malicieras attracts many tourists. Tourism is also important for the economy. The old town center, with its Art Nouveau and Romanesque architecture and gondolas plying the Ria de Averro canals, is referred to as the Venice of Portugal in some tourist brochures. Important tourist attractions are the Arte Nova architectural designs and tiles of some buildings that were created in the early 20th century. The Art Nouveau Museum, the Averro Museum, Museo de Averro, formerly the Mostero de Jesus Condon with exhibits of King Afonso V's daughter. Santa Joana the 15th century Averose or São Domingos Cathedral and the Church of Jesus with its beautiful architecture. The nearby beaches, Costa Nova and Barra, attract many visitors in warm weather, they can be reached by bus from Averro. Other sites of interest to tourists include the Carmelite Church and the Misericordia Church built in the 16th century. The local economy is fed by a series of transport networks that cross the municipal boundaries. Air regional gateways include air service through the Aerodromo de Averro slash São Jacinto and the Porto de Averro. Rail The old railway station rail service includes service by Alpha Pendular. And inner city trains, suburban links through the Urbanos do Porto and. Also, the Linha do Voga, a narrow gauge railway to Agueda and Cernata do Voga. Road The primary expressways and inner regional thoroughfares include A1 and the A25. Inner city buses connect Averro with Porto and Lisbon several times a day. Water Melisiras provide access along the Ria for tourist visits, in addition to traditional fishing or recreational purposes, including regattas. The front facade of the Cathedral of Averro The architecture of Averro is influenced by two phases, the pre-Kingdom era, with a number of historical monuments, and the modernist movements resulting from the expansion of economy during the 19th-20th centuries. The city's primary landmark is the 15th-century Monastery of Jesus, containing the tomb of King Afonso V's daughter, Street, Joanna. The presence of this royal personage, beatified in 1693, proved to be of great benefit when she bequeathed her valuable estate to the convent. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the convent housed a school of embroidery, but was transformed into the Museo de Santa Joanna, or simply, the Museum of Averro, housing many of these handicrafts. Art Nouveau buildings in Averro The abundance of 19th-20th century architectural buildings reflects the effects of the boom during that period. Including many of the Arte Nova and Art Deco buildings, inspired by modernist trends and nationalist tendencies of the Estado Novo regime. The best of these is in the university campus, where many of the nationalist architects were involved in construction projects. 
The Arte Nova architecture was built by wealthy families from Brazil, their buildings included homes and shops. Traditional Portuguese decorations such as tiles were used. The concept did not last for a long time, but its presence is very distinctive in Aveiro. It is one of only 20 cities in the world that are included in the Réseau Art Nouveau network, listing cities in Europe that are known for this architectural style. There are several attractions in the city of Aveiro, including cathedrals, canals and the beaches, including the Ilavo Ceramica de Vista Alegre and the beaches of Barra, Costa Nova do Prado, and Gafani de Nazaré. Aveiro is known in Portugal for its traditional sweets, ovos moles de Aveiro, truas de ovos, both made from eggs. Ravis are also typical biscuits of Aveiro. The municipal holiday is 12th of May, the day of Joana, Princess of Portugal. University of Aveiro The University of Aveiro was created in 1973 and attracts thousands of students to the city. It is ranked as the 354th best university in the world in the Times World University Rankings, and the second best in Portugal. The university has about 430 professors, 11,000 undergraduate students, and 1,300 postgraduate students. The Estadio Municipal de Aveiro used to host the football club SC Bayer Mar and was a venue at Euro 2004. Sport Clube Bayer Mar is an association football club. Founded in 1922, it has a sports academy with various youth levels in sports including basketball and futsal. The club used to play at Estadio Municipal de Aveiro, designed by Portuguese architect Tomás Tavera for Euro 2004, where it held two group matches. The other long-established club in the city, Oscalitos, was founded in 1904 and houses a wide variety of sports. Its rowers have represented Portugal in international tournaments including the Olympic Games. José Luciano de Castro, 1899. Thanks for watching.